Atlanta, prophetic prayer over Atlanta. Go sign up. Prophetic intercession, special call this month. Eventbrite. Jennifer Leclerc at Eventbrite.com. Fire yourselves up and get ready. Share this. Chicago, UK, Norway, Northern Ireland, Cape, Cape Town, South Africa, Times 2, Illinois, Merritt Island. Yeah, God is a flame. You missed last night's broadcast. You better go listen. New Zealand. Good morning. Earth, Australia. In the house, Arkansas, Virginia, Tennessee, Amelia Island, Pauline from the UK. You're a blessing. The Bronx, Long Island, New York, Double Duty, Mississippi, Ottawa, Canada, North Carolina. In the house. Today's broadcast sponsored by Awakening Blaze. Join the movement. AwakeningBlaze.com setting cities on fire with prayer. Winston, Buffalo, another New York City, Apple Valley, California. Good morning, Miami. Wake up, wake up, wake up, Chicago, North Carolina. Share this, invite, we'll start just a moment. Christchurch, New Zealand, there's an awakening blaze in your city, Christchurch. Head over there and join them. UAE, we need an awakening blaze over there, sir. Awakeningblaze.com, join the movement. Augusta, Georgia. George is on my mind. Apostle Deborah, you are on my mind this morning. We need to set up a call. I'm praying for you, Apostle Deborah. Boca, Pennsylvania, Alabama, Tampa, Houston, North Shore, Louisiana, Mer Merrillville, Indiana. Washington, D.C., Delaware, come on, it's time to burn, share, invite, get this cranked up, we're starting in one minute.
fire is a bridegroom who is jealous for his bride. And yes, you, even you, can be a friend of the bridegroom. Here we go. Facebook. Wake up. Wake up. Facebook. You're slack a lacking today. Share, invite, do something. Somebody's freedom depends on it today. Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, author of our devotional Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still, small voice of God. I'm the senior leader of the Awakening House of Prayer, the epicenter for training and equipping the saints in our region, founder of the Ignite Prophetic Network. Fire, 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 fire. Fire is on my mind today. We're going to pray into that. But first, today's devotion titled, you must discern the enemy. You must discern him. And here's what I heard the Lord say. You can't bind a strong man you don't see. You can't bind a devil you are unable to discern. You can't win a battle against an enemy you aren't engaging. Ah, sharamakata. Sometimes you think you know what the enemy's assignment against you is based on past experience. And sometimes you're right. But deduction based on experience is different from discernment that you receive from me, says the Lord. You have positional victory in battle through Christ, but you need discernment to carry out my battle plans. Stop and ask me, and I will reveal the enemy that is coming up against you and give you the strategy to counter the attack. And the Lord has given me a strategy for today, for this season we're in, it's called fire, fire, fire. Today's scripture references Mark 3 and 27, Matthew 16, verse 19, and 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 through 10. And the prayer starter today, help me to move in discernment and not in presumption, assumption, or deduction. I need revelation from you to truly know what I am up against and what is up against me. Sharpen my discernment so that I am able to bind the strong man in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that you are a victorious God. You are not walking around with your head held low in defeat. You're not worrying. You're not sweating it. You're not anxious. You are laughing at your enemies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the God who laughs at his enemies because he sees their end. He sees their defeat. He sees uh, the expiration of their assignment. I thank you, Lord. We give you glory and honor and praise. We magnify you in every area of our lives. We surrender it all, God. We surrender it all, God. We choose to become fools in the eyes of the world that we might be wise in your kingdom, God. We need your wisdom, not wisdom as the world gives it, not that wisdom that's dark and demonic, the wisdom from hell, the wisdom from carnality, the wisdom of the flesh, the wisdom wisdom of the soulish appetites. God, we want your wisdom. We want to tap into your wisdom for the warfare, your wisdom for living. God, we thank you that you are wisdom. Oh, thank you, Lord. Wisdom was with you. Jesus is wisdom. We thank you, Lord. You have and you encompass all wisdom. You are all things to us. You are all things to us. You are our mercy. You are our wisdom. You are our grace. You are our healing. You are all things. I am that I am. God told Moses, I am that I am. Moses said, who should I say sent me? I am that I am. Lord, you are the great I am. I am that I am. You are our victory. You are our peace. You are our wisdom. You are our everything. God, would you help us today with wisdom for the warfare, wisdom for the warfare, wisdom for the warfare. Your word tells us that if any man lacks wisdom to ask of the giving God and you will pour it out upon us liberally, but let not that man ask with a double mind. 
with a wavering faith because then he will receive nothing from God Lord help us Lord to be stable minded help us Lord to be sober minded help us Lord to be single minded that we would have eyes that focus on you and you can show us what you want to show us about the enemy help us Lord to have doves eyes eyes focused on you and your purposes your kingdom your will your love oh God help us to look at you and you will show us the plans of the enemy you will give us discernment in the battle you will teach us the strategy strategy for the moment you will give us the tactic for the season you 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 Lord you will not leave us ignorant of the devil's devices when we focus on you you will not leave us unarmed for battle when we focus on you you will not leave us or forsake us even to the end of the age so we give you glory we give you glory we give you glory we celebrate the one and true living God we celebrate Jesus we celebrate the Holy Ghost we're gonna have a Holy Ghost party today because victory is a assured hear me beloved I decree and declare victory is assured it is assured it is sealed it is in the bag praise God victory is assured we thank you Lord we thank you we thank you for assured victory I thank you Lord whatever it is you're believing for whatever it is you're warring for whatever it is God told you promised you prophesied to you it belongs to you you've got to stake a claim on it and then you You've got a war for it and then you've got a war to keep it because we are in a war but we always win father we thank you today that we always win 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 when we allow you to lead us when we allow you to guide us when we do things your way God help us to do things your way help us to do things your way not just the way we did it last season not even just the way you taught us last season but the new way the current way the now way the the rhema way the the, the not just the the the, the 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 way that worked last time but the the the, the 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 kairos way that right now way that opportune way in this season right now for this battle with this enemy right now right now right now God help us to do it your way your ways are higher than our ways your thoughts higher than our thoughts <laughs> Lord help us today oh I feel a disturbance I feel a disturbance I bind all monitoring spirits now in the name of Jesus you spiritual peeping toms I break your powers and I blind you in Jesus name you will not rob the breakthrough today we thank you Lord we give you praise and we give you glory we thank you Lord that your eyes are upon us that your eyes are upon us that we are the apple of your eye we are the apple of your eye you watch over us carefully you watch over us affectionately you watch over us with the heart of a father helping us not to not to fall headlong when we stumble helping us to get back up when we trip helping us to to, to, to shake the dust off of our feet when we're rejected in one place that we might move into the next season into the next place into the next metron into the next fear with freedom rather than bondage I just see that so clearly the Lord is wanting to help many of you just shake you, you've got some, some of you are dusty you're dusty you're just a little dusty some of I said some of you are dusty you know what happens if you don't dust your your furniture for a few weeks what happens it gets dusty it gets dusty it gets dusty some of you are dusty you need to shake some dust off I see that so clearly we're gonna get to the fire in just a minute but first we need to deal with some dust some of you need to shake some dust off you were hurt in the last season you were wounded in the last season in the last place with the last tribe with the last network with the last church with the last people with the last friend with the last spouse with the last school with the last co-worker with the last workplace with the last whoever some of you were hurt some of you were wounded some of you were rejected some of you were were just pushed out and there's some dust on you you tried to shake it off you worked the best you could to shake it off but there's still some dust on you 
There's some dust of woundedness. There's some dust of hurt. There's some dust of, of rejection. There's some dust of unforgiveness. Just there's some dust. Some dust of resentment. Some dust of bitterness. It's not full blown. It's just some dust. It's try, there's something trying to hang here. This is a metaphor, people. Listen. There's something trying to hold on to you. To keep you from fully enjoying, fully embracing, fully stepping into, fully manifesting everything God has for you in this next season. There's some dust. Dust is, it, dust is not like a, how do you say, uh, it, it's not like dirt. Dirt can be on your face and I can see the dirt on your face. Dust is, is hard to see until you get up close. Do you hear me? I can see dirt. I can see mud. I can see grease. I can see a ketchup stain. I can see coffee when it spills on you. But when there's dust, it's hard to see unless you get up close. But the Lord is getting up close and personal with us today. And there's some dust. Some of you need to shake it off. You need to shake off that resentment. You need to shake off that hurt. You need to shake it off and come up higher. So, Father, help us today to shake off the dust. Lord... We can ask the Lord to remove the dust. There's nothing wrong with that. But the Bible says to shake the dust off. When you go into one town and they reject you. See, this was dealing with rejection. This was dealing with a hurt. This is dealing with an offense, a potential offense, a potential offense. John and, and, and James were offended because the Sumerians would not allow Jesus to pass through their city. They were offended. They said, should we call fire down from heaven? Jesus said, when they reject you, shake the dust off. When you go into a house, re release your peace. If, if they're rejecting it, if, if they don't receive it, take it back. Oh, boy. Some of you need to shake the dust off and take your peace back because the enemy took it. Some of you, when, when the dust is, has settled on you, you've got no peace. You've got no peace because of the dust, beloved. Hear me. Listen to me. I'm speaking to you by the Holy Ghost. Hear me. Listen to me. I'm speaking to you by the Holy Ghost. The reason why some of you don't have peace is because of the dust. Lord, we shake the dust off now in Jesus' name. We shake off the dust of rejection. We shake off the dust of offense. Come on now. We shake off the dust of, 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 of weariness. We shake off the dust of burnout. We shake off the dust of, 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 of yeah, uh, just, just, just unforgiveness and bitterness and resentment. We shake off the dust of worry. We shake off the dust. Uh, uh, we shake off the dust. Uh, we shake off the dust and we take back our peace in the name of Jesus. We take our peace back. This dust is, is covering over our peace and you gave us peace not as the world gives it. Just like you give us wisdom not as the world gives it. Just like you give us healing not as the world gives it. It's a supernatural peace. And we thank you, Lord, for that peace that passes all understanding to cover us like the dust once did. Lord, give us the supernatural peace that we can't even shake off. Hallelujah. 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 We give you praise, God. We give you praise and we give you honor and we give you glory. We're shaking the dust off. Some of you need to get up out of your bed, praise God, because I know some of you laying down all comfy and cozy while I'm working up a sweat praying for you. Hallelujah. And that's all right most days, but today you need to get up, you need to do a prophetic act, you need to shake that dust off. Shake it off. Shake it off like you'd like go kick your door frame and shake. You know, I used to live on the beach for like 20 years. You know what we did when we went to the beach? We got sand all over us and we had to take our shoes and just whack them against the, the, the seawall. To get the, the sand out so we didn't track it back in our house. I don't want sand in my house. I don't want sand in my car. You don't want no dust in your house. That's why you dust. So don't let it overcome you. Shake it off. Get up and do a prophetic act and just shake it off. Just shake. Just do a little shake. Just do a little shuck and a little jive and a little shake. Oh, some of you, I just saw a picture. Some of you have carpets and you got a carpet beater. Pow, pow. Shaking that dust out of the carpet. You don't want it there. 
if you don't want the dust in your carpet, if you don't want the sand in your shoes, shake it off in Jesus' name. Kama shake it off. 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 Oh, ma shoga tarabashte shake it basha. Oh, ma 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 shaka. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till you're done. Oh, shoko toroboshta mashta shaka tarabashte. Uma babashte ke timbrishte. Yer romo shaka tarabashte. Shake it ter roko toroboshte shake it terebeshte. Ah, ma ma shake it. Dust can shit can uh, set off fire detect fire det smoke detectors fire alarms. As you know, that dust can set off fire alarms. Dust can set off fire alarms. We don't need any false alarms. I was studying this morning about prayer, the connection between prayer and fire, and I learned many things about the connection between prayer and fire. But one of the things I learned, I want to pray through today with you, which is releasing prayer fire against demonic fire. It's been said that you want, you fight fire with fire. You fight fire with fire, but we don't fight flesh with flesh and we're not fighting against flesh and blood. So we need prayer fire, not gunfire. We need prayer fire against the demonic fire, against the demonic attacks, against the demonic assignments, prayer fire. So I want to pray along these lines. I want to pray along these lines. I want to release prayer fire against the demonic fire. Some of you have been under demonic fire. Now there's a godly fire. There's a purifying fire. There's the furnace of affliction. In Zechariah, two-thirds... Uh, were, 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 were killed. The Lord took the one third, the remnant, the faithful ones, and he put them in fire to awaken prayer in their hearts. Sometimes the reasons why we walk through fire is to awaken us to prayer, to make us dependent utterly on God once again, because we stray away. We begin to do things in our own strength. That's a different kind of fire. There's all kinds of purposes for the fire of God. But we can release prayer fire against demonic fire and I want to spend the next few minutes doing this agree with me now now we're not releasing fire on people like James and John wanted to do I'm sorry Peter and uh, yeah James and John the sons of thunder wanted to release fire of heaven to judge we're not releasing fire over people understand we're talking about demon spirits So, Father, we thank you today. We thank you today, God. We submit ourselves to you. We repent of all of our sins. We ask you to cleanse us of all unrighteousness, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that you are the God that answers by fire. And you'll answer us by fire. Today, according to 1 Kings 18 and 24, you are the God who answers by fire. You are the God who answers by fire, Lord. Answer us by fire. Fire against the enemies that have tried to burn our life up with the fires of hell. Fire, 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 fire. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you that a fire goes before you. Oh, my Lord Jesus, a fire goes before you. According to Psalm 97 and 3, a fire goes before you to burn up your enemies. God, your enemies are our enemies. Your enemies are our enemies. The enemies of the cross are your enemies. These Jezebel spirits are your enemies. Witchcraft is your enemy. Fear is your enemy. Oh, I thank you, Lord, that these enemies that would stand against the knowledge of the truth, these enemies that would try to tear down what you're building in our lives, these enemies that would work to plague our minds and put us in bondage, your fire 
goes before you to burn them up. Lord, we say burn up these enemies that are defying your will in our lives, God. Burn up these enemies, these spiritual foes that are targeting us for destruction. When you have targeted us for glory and redemption and salvation in Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord. According to Psalm 140, verse 10, that you release a, the, you release the, 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 the spirit of burning to burn up the works of darkness, God. Release the spirit of burning to burn up every evil work that is orchestrated to bring destruction in our lives, destruction in our finances, destruction in our families, destruction in our, our, our careers, destruction in our churches, Lord. Release the spirit of burning to burn up the works of darkness, the enemy agendas, the wicked schemes, in Jesus name and God we ask you to let your fire protect us in the battle let your fire cover us in the warfare according to Exodus 14 verse 24 let your fire consume us let your fire envelop us Lord let us wear a cloak of fire that we would be immune that we would uh, that, 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 that the plans of the enemy would burn up when they come too near us protect us Lord Protect us, Lord. Protect us, Lord. Protect us, Lord. Acts 19, 19. The works of witchcraft and occultism were burned up in the fire. Father, I thank you, Lord. We release fire against the works of witchcraft. Ah, We release fire against the works of occultism. We release your fire against these works that have targeted us for oppression, that have targeted us for infirmity that have targeted us for bondage Lord let your fire protect us as we release your fire against the works of witchcraft in Jesus name Lord let your fire according to Psalm 106 verse 18 burn up wicked spirits let your flame oh my God burn up the wicked spirits in the name of Jesus Lord Lord come and rebuke your enemies these spirits these principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places let your fire the flames of fire rebuke your enemies, according to Isaiah 66, 15, in Jesus' name. Let every demon be exposed and cast out with fire, according to Acts 28 and 3. Lord, let the fire expose the demons, like when Paul was making the fire. The snake came out of the fire. When Paul was sitting next to the fire, rather, the snake came out of the fire and latched itself onto Paul's hand. And what did Paul do? Come on now, we're coming full circle. My God. Now this is poetic. Oh, this is poetic. The Lord said we're to shake the dust off. And dust can cause a false alarm. A smoke alarm can go off because of too much dust. A false alarm. This dust, it attracts demons. Paul was sitting next to a fire on the island of Malta. Come on now. And a snake, a snake grabbed hold of his hand and they, and they said, he's going to die. And what did Paul do? He shook it off. The fire exposed the snake. When there's fire, when you're on fire for God, when you're moving in the fire, the glory, the power, the demons will manifest. They will accuse you. They will abuse you. They will come after you. They will try to poison you. They will release venom at you. But you will not allow the demon power to stay upon you you will shake it off come on this is poetic God is so good the Holy Spirit leads these prayer times people take heed to what the Lord is saying if it applies to you if it stirs you if there's a yes in your heart take it in war with it war with me war for me as I war for you how about that Paul shook it off Lord let demons be exposed and cast out with your fire in the name of Jesus 
Oh, Jesus, thank you, Lord, for your fire. Thank you, Lord, that you're an all-consuming fire. All-consuming fire. Come baptize us, God. Baptize us in fire, God. Purify our hearts, Jesus. We don't want to have anything in common with these demon powers by which we are, against which we are warring, God. Lord, release your fire upon our enemies. But let your purifying fire come to our hearts. Release your, 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 your fire that burns up that spirit of burning God release it against your enemies but Lord help us to fully shake off I see part of that's part of that's the purifying fire that some of you have had to walk through it's to burn away those things that hinder love but God's fire will not it might be an ouch to you but it will not burn you up it will burn away those things that don't belong in you those hurts those wounds those those pains those rejections those wrong mindsets the false motives of your heart so the fire of God is a beautiful thing because God knows how to administrate it rightly. He knows how to bring you through the furnace of affliction. He knows how to allow you to walk through fire. But the Bible says, when you walk through fire, I will be with you. Like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were put in the fire. It was turned up seven times hotter. It burned up uh, the attendants who had put them in the fire. But there was a fourth man in the fire. They came out, they didn't even smell like smoke. They were not burned, they were not chafed. So if you're walking through fire right now, understand and know that there's another side of the coin. That while you're walking through fire, while you're being purified, the Lord is sending a spirit of burning against your enemies. It's a twofold deal. He's protecting you. I know it's not fun, but he's protecting you, beloved. He's got you. He's got you. He's got you. So shake it off. Shake off the dust. Shake off the snakes. Shake off, shake off the serpents. Shake off the scorpions. Shake it off. Shake it all off. Sometimes if we'd shake some things off, we wouldn't have to go through fire to have it burned off. Sometimes, I'm going to say it again, sometimes if we'd shake some things off, they wouldn't take root. Sometimes if we'd shake off the rejection, we wouldn't have to walk through a purifying fire to cleanse our heart to spirits of rejection or fear or whatever it is that we've allowed to settle on us. You ever been someplace where the dust is so thick? How about the dust on a car? Has anybody ever come up to your car and put with their finger, clean me, wash me. Lord, just show me a picture. Some of you have so much dust on you that the devil is mocking you. He's coming and writing his finger in your dust. Father, thank you for cleansing us today. We're going to shake it off. Some of you, there's so much dust, you, you can't even shake it all off. You need a cleansing. So, Father, help us shake it off. Cleanse us if you need to from this unrighteousness, this offense we took on, this rejection we took on, this fear we took on, this doubt and unbelief we took on. Whatever it is we took on, God, that we can't seem to shake off, God, we're asking you to put us through your Holy Ghost car wash. Lord, give us the premium service, the extra cycle of soap, the wax, the drying, or we're willing to go through your process of cleansing, whatever that looks like, so that we don't have to stay in the enemy's bondage. We give you praise. We give you glory. We magnify your name. We thank you, Lord, for your great goodness. And what you've done today on this call, breakthrough call, like I said yesterday, when we go through a deep repentance call one day, usually the next day or the day after, is a breakthrough call. And today was a breakthrough call. I'm telling you, it's a breakthrough call. I love how the Lord tied in. I don't plan these things. I don't have time to plan these things. I get up in the morning and I pray. Get up in the morning and I pray. I hear something. I see something. I read something that sparks my spirit. That's it. And the Lord tied in the shaking. How about that? God is good.
It has nothing to do with me and everything to do with him. Nothing to do with me and everything to do with him. I give him all the glory. I'm, I'm just trying to be obedient and walk the, the fight, the good fight of faith, just like you are. And trying to help you. My heart is to help you. And I believe that's why the Lord shows up on these calls is because my heart is to help people. I want to see you helped. I want to see you free. I want to see, I want to see you thriving in everything the Lord's called you to do. And motive is everything to the Lord. Motive is everything. Some people do ministry for money. I do it out of passion and out of a calling. Because I remember when I got saved. I remember the condition that I was in. Amen. God is good. I give him all the glory. We give you praise, God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise God. God is good. God is good. God is good. Listen, if you want to sow into this breakthrough prayer today, sow into this fire, sow into this freedom, I want to give you an opportunity to do that. I do. I am going to teach you today. I determined in my heart today something uh, Something took place and I, I wrote down a prophetic word of the Lord that's going to be in a future book that I write. I'm doing a, a spiritual warfare sort of, sort of like a mornings with the Holy Spirit, but like a, a warfare version. And the Lord gave me a word this morning as I was studying and I wrote it down and I want to share that with you and I want to teach you out of that. So I've got to find it now. I've lost it. But I'm going to teach you about that in just a minute. But if you want to sow today into this breakthrough anointing, this, this, this fire, this, this cleansing, if you want to do that, I want to give you the opportunity to. Listen, you cannot outgive God. Everything you sow into the kingdom will be returned back to you with interest. And I've got Operation Liberation, which is my missions arm. We just launched that. We've been sowing into missions all along, of course, but... We launched an official JLM outreach operation liberation. We're going to be uh, sewing books into prisons and jails. We're also going into nations. We're also supporting other ministries as well uh, that are doing good work, including uh, Hand of Hope uh, with Joyce Meyer Ministries, Feeding the Children, Hallelujah, and, uh, and, and things of this nature. Listen, today may be your day. Today may be your day to sow that seed to seal your Your word, the word you receive from the Lord. Some of you, I know you hear things for yourself while I'm praying. that have nothing to do with what I'm saying. That's awesome. That's awesome. Listen, if you want to give today, I encourage you to do that. This is, a, this is a good one to sow into. This is a good word to align with. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. I'm not going to labor this. I'm, I'm, I, I, I typically do not. Uh, I'm not going to uh, uh, continue down this vein because I want to teach you today. But go to jenniferleclair.org slash missions if you want to sow into the missions. jenniferleclair.org slash missions. You can read about Operation Liberation. There's things on there that aren't up. There's things on there that should be there that aren't up there yet. Uh, but we just got it up as quick as we could. jenniferleclair.org slash missions. If you want to become a partner, you can do that at jenniferleclair.org slash give. jenniferleclair.org slash give. You can, you can become a partner and get the monthly partner resource uh, complimentary to you in Jesus' name. Or you can uh, just sow a one-time seed there, jenniferleclair.org slash give. You can use PayPal, paypal.me slash jenniferleclair, paypal.me slash jenniferleclair. Cash app. Tracy, I don't have cash app. I guess I should get that. Everybody's asking for it. Uh, somebody send me an email and remind me. And let somebody set that up for me. Pastor Sierra can set that up for me today. Prophet Vanessa, please ask her to do that. However she needs to do that. Just tell her to please get it done. Everybody keeps asking me for it. And I don't have that. So I hate to add one more thing. But unfortunately, everybody has different paradigms by which they like to give. So let's just do that, Prophet Vanessa. Cash app. Have Sierra set that up, please, in Jesus' name. P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. And we'll have that cash app set up by tomorrow. Hallelujah. Uh, pay, uh, PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. 
pay text to give, 754, because we added text to give because everybody wanted that. 754-701-2161, 754-701-2161, text the word pray. It's not a prayer line. If you want a prayer, if you have a prayer request, you go to 247prayerroom.com, okay? Anyway, give as you are led. Give generously as you are led. And God loves a cheerful, prompt to do it giver. Father, I thank you for the opportunity uh, to receive an offering for your kingdom. Operation Liberation to set people free. Media ministry to go into the nations with this broadcast to set people free. Uh, I thank you, Lord, for the opportunity uh, to, to co-labor with all these givers, all these donors in Jesus' name. I ask you to bless this offering back to the givers in the name of the Lord. Multiply it, God. Breathe on it, God. Let it uh, ab abound in fruit because of the good works of to which they're sowing in Jesus' name. I lift up all my Awakening Blaze prayer leaders and intercessors, all of my Ignite members, my Sears, my Scribes, my Caleb company. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord, for the opportunity, God, uh, to, to serve alongside them in the kingdom, to equip them, to mentor them in Jesus' name. All of my School of the Spirit Sears, we lift them up to you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah in Jesus' name. Praise God. I've got a couple announcements that I want to teach you. A couple of announcements that I want to teach you, so please hang on through this. Tonight, how Jezebel assassinates prophetic voices and how to battle back. I did a broadcast last night on Jezebel, Throw Jezebel Down. It was, one of the, the, it was just one of the most powerful things I've ever done. I said and taught things that I've never said and taught before by the Spirit. Actually, I need that transcribed. Tony Lynn, I don't know if she's able to do that. Uh, you know, some of the things I said, some of the, some of the ways that I prayed, I need that transcribed. Prophet Vanessa, I don't think Tony Lynn's listening. I really need that transcribed for my Nigeria trip, uh, going into Nigeria at the end of the month, tonight at 6 o'clock. So please register. You will get the link. And if you cannot watch at 6 o'clock, this is the biggest reason I want you to register is because I want you to be able to get the link and be able to have it convenient for you. We're going to send you the video. It might take a couple days to get it up. Probably, probably the next day it will be up. Probably tomorrow it will be up where you can access it. Amen. Go sign up for that. JenniferLeClaire.eventbrite.com jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com The Writer's uh, Intensive, this uh, best-selling secret, secrets of Writing and, mark, <laughs> no, 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 writing and publishing secrets of best-selling authors is going to be uh, the 12th, 13th, and 14th. Uh, the 12th is the VIP session. I think there's eight or nine, ten signed up for that. It's going to be at, in person at the Awakening House of Prayer. The others, it's, it's in person or online. If you've not signed up, that discount will go away once these classes start, and then it will go back to the regular price. I'm only looking for people. I'm not looking for the people that sign up for the $39 webinars. Um, people who, who sign up for those are looking for, for some help, uh, but they're not, uh, not always serious. Some of them are, but they're not always serious. This is a, a little more expensive. Oh, it's a lot more expensive than $39, but I'm looking for serious people because I want to help you get your book published. I don't want to waste my time with people who think they might want to write a book. They think they might want to you know, be part of Awakening Magazine, my magazine, awakeningmag.com. They think they want to be part of my podcast network. They, they, they might do it if they find the time. I don't want to work with those people. The level that I'm at, I'm moving in the media mountain at a high level. I want to have a company of scribes who are serious uh, and I don't mind teaching the young ones, but this particular class, I enjoy teaching the young ones, but this particular class is for those who are very serious. So go to schoolthespirit.tv, sign up. There's a payment plan on it. Um, I'm extending a lot of grace on a lot of this because I want those who are really serious to take advantage of it. The discount will lift. I believe it's on Thursday, and that will be it. It will not be discounted again at this level ever. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Then on Saturday at 7 o'clock, uh, we'll have the mid-year prophetic update. I'll be sharing uh, not just for my new book, Momentum. By the way, my new book, Momentum, is number one on Amazon. It's just a few dollars. It's on Amazon Kindle. It's it's a number one new release in three categories still. Actually, I have two number one books on Amazon right now. The other one is called 18 Bible Promises for 2018. Uh, it is still number one. Uh, so I've got two number one books on Amazon 
right now. And so these are the kind of things I want to teach you in the writer's intensive. How do you do that? How did I do that? Well, you know, it's a, it's a process. It's experience. It's insight. You can learn in one weekend what it took me 20 years to learn. So some people are complaining about the writer's workshop. Well, it's a little pricey. Well, you know, how, you know what it cost me to learn all this? And the two experts, Larry Sparks and Woodley August, that I'm bringing in, we have well, like 100 years of experience between us in this, uh, in this market. How many webinars and how many uh, schools I had to attend and how many mistakes I had to make. Amen. School of Spirit TV, mid-year prophetic update. Uh, I'll be reading the prophetic word momentum but also teaching so the book is different than the teaching if you've got the book sign up for the teaching it's free jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com the writers network gold call 7 p.m on the 18th hallelujah supernatural coaching webinar overcoming destiny killing procrastination on the 19th go to supernaturalcoach.com 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 school this year is on the 22nd hallelujah god is good the seven mountains prayer call if you're in atlanta we're going to be praying over atlanta prophetic intercession over atlanta so if you're in atlanta in the atlanta area you're going to want to be part of that if you care anything about your city i believe i'll be prophesying uh the will of the lord over atlanta that's all on eventbrite eventbrite.jenniferleclair.org i'll be in kentucky and then the mass deliverance service and the uh, deliverance boot camp training, ahopu.org, ahopu.org. Amen. There's so much going on. I'm going to cut it there because I want to teach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off a Facebook and Periscope, and I'm going to come right back in just a moment. So bear with me as I restart these two special i'm going to read you a prophetic word and i'm going to teach you out of it so come right back on in jesus name amen